So you dream of leaving Earth and starting a new life on Mars. What would that actually look like? Would you need a spacesuit just to walk outside? How long would your shadow be? And how would you even breathe? Here's what living on Mars would really be like. You wouldn't be able to live outside. Mars has a thin atmosphere, so there's no air to breathe. It's also extremely cold and dusty, with constant dust storms that would make it impossible to see and breathe. So you'd have to stay inside a sealed habitat with an oxygen system, artificial lighting and temperature control to keep you alive. Just like in a sci-fi movie, you'd probably live in one of these domed cities. Food would be grown in Martian farms using hydroponics or in underground greenhouses. This way you could grow fresh food without soil or the need for sunlight. And water would either be extracted from underground ice or, like, every drop you use would have to be recycled to survive. Your days would be shorter than on Earth, with each Martian day being 39 minutes longer than ours. You'd also feel lighter because Mars has a lower gravity than Earth. If you weigh 150 pounds on Earth, you'd only weigh about 50 pounds on Mars. But don't get too excited. The lower gravity also means there's no air pressure, so you couldn't breathe unless you were in a pressurized suit. If you want to visit Mars, you'd have to leave Earth's atmosphere behind. And if you forget your spacesuit, you won't last long. On the upside, there'd be no more traffic jams or crowds. Just an endless, desolate, red, dusty landscape as far as the eye can see. Living on Mars would be really lonely because the nearest human would be thousands of miles away on Earth. There'd be no quick trips home for holidays or weekends away in the countryside. Your only view of Earth would be a tiny blue dot in the sky. That might be pretty cool, though, if you like stargazing. Mars is very far away, which means any supplies sent from Earth would take months to arrive. So you'd have to be self-sufficient and prepared to wait a long time for a rescue mission if something goes wrong. Mentally, it would be tough to cope with the isolation and the barren landscape, so you'd have to be very resilient to live on Mars. But living on Mars could be our first step toward becoming a multi-planet civilization. So what do you think? Would you live on Mars? Let me know in the comments.